difference between petechiae and purpura the main difference between petechiae and purpura is in appearance their size petechiae are very tiny dot like purpura purpura measures between 4 and 10 mm dot if the purpura spot is less than 4 mm wide it's called petechiae purpura larger than 1 cm cm is called ecchymosis or bruises causes different type of purpura have different causes main cause are thrombocytopenic purpura tp and non thrombocytopenic purpura ntp thrombocytopenic purpura tp tp is usually associated with increased rise of bleeding and low platelets some medicines that affect the normal count of platelets or clotting. Immune disorders where immune system attacks and destroys platelets. Infections in the bloodstream as bacteria Neisseria meningitides enters the bloodstream. Blood transfusion, lupus and other disorders. Rocky Mountain Fever, Bacterial Infection, Hepatitis C, HIV or other viral infection. Bone marrow disease dot due to infiltration of bone marrow. Non-thrombocytopenic purpura NTP due to vitamin C deficiency. Due to weak or inflamed blood vessels, vasculitis. Due to congenital diseases like telangiectasia or Ehlers-Denlos. Due to inherited due to aging disorders. and blood clotting disorders. Due to some medications. Due to defective formation of platelets. Symptoms of purpura are visible on skin. Though the symptoms disappear within a few days. A person will have symptoms like. History of hemorrhage spots over the body. On examination generalized purpura can be found. There can be bleeding gums, bleeding from the mouth, rectum, Hematuria or there can be epistaxis. Patient will come with the history of headache, dizziness, vomiting, nausea, kidney issues, tiredness, etc. Patient will have sore, swollen joints, particularly knees and ankles. Risk factors. Purpura is an alarming sign of a health ailment. There are other factors that may also form blood pools underneath skin surface. Some of the risk factors of purpura are Blood clotting disorders, obesity, viral infections, autoimmune disorders, etc. Poor health of the blood vessels, weak or inflamed blood vessels. Certain disease of bone marrow or cancers. Congenital disorders that affect the connective tissue. Nutrient deficiencies, etc. To be continued. Thank you for watching my video. For more videos kindly like share and subscribe.